Okay, so I'm going to show you how to get into safe mode uh, within Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. Uh, there's several ways to do it. I'm going to show you the first way is to do an MS config. So how you get there is bottom left hand corner, you want to right click and you want to click where it says run. And what you do is you type in MS config. Uh, if you want to bring up this uh, run command, another way to do this is if you hold down the Windows key right here and you click on the R for run. So I'm going to click the uh, hold down the Windows key. I'm going to click on R, and it pops up again. So Windows config, if you guys can see that, all all the details and everything will be in the bottom in the description. I'll click on OK, and we'll wait. Okay, here we go. So this window will pop up, and then what you want to do is you want to click on Boot, and then from here you want to click on Safe Boot. Okay. So the first one here, minimal, this is basically safe mode, regular safe mode. The second one here, alternative shell, is safe mode with command prompt. And this last one down here is safe mode with networking. Uh, this one here you don't have to worry about. This is a AD repair or active directory repair. Basically, it pertains to a domain controller. So anyways, let's say you just wanted to do the regular safe, safe mode. Just click on that and click on OK. And then you restart. Now the thing is, once you restart, uh, it'll bring you to the, into your login screen. You just log in, and then automatically you'll be in a safe mode. And how you, and how you'll know that you'll be in safe mode? It'll say safe mode in the four corners of your computer screen. Now the thing is, uh, once you're done with safe mode, and you want to return to your regular um, regular Windows, what you have to do is you have to go back in here. You have to uncheck that. So go back in here. I'll uh, I'll do the uh, Windows key and R. Go back into MS Config. And what you have to do is, oops, so let me do that again. So Windows key R, MS Config. And now you go back to boot here and simply just uncheck safe boot here and click on OK. And then you would have to restart it. Okay, the next way to do it is to go into your advanced options. And how you do that is there's several ways to do that, that you can get into your advanced options. Uh, let me do this. The first way is within the login screen. So let me just uh, log out here. So I'm going to sign out. Okay, so here's a login screen. And how you access the uh, advanced options to get into safe mode is here's a power button here. You click on this power button. And you can see where it says restart. What you do is you hold down the shift key and click on restart, and that'll bring you to the advanced boot options. And then once you're in advanced boot options, there's a couple more clicks you have to do. So give me one second here, because I'm going to show you another way to get into advanced options. Let's say that you're logged into Windows. What you can do is uh, top right hand corner here, you see the power button again. Same thing, you can click on that. You can go down to where it says start, or I'm sorry, restart. Hold down the shift key, click on restart, and that'll bring you into advanced boot options as well. Um, and another way is uh, if, uh, if you hover your mouse in the bottom left hand corner and you right click, you'll get this menu. Where's this menu at? Oh, right click, sorry. You have to right click down there. And then what you do is uh, you go in here, shut down or sign out, and then hold down the shift key and click on restart. So this time I'm going to go ahead and do it because I have to show you how to proceed after the advanced option. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to click on restart. Just hold down the shift key. That's good. Okay. Give it a second here. And this uh, menu will pop up here. And from here what you do is you, cl you click on troubleshoot, advanced options, startup settings, and then once I click on restart, this is the menu I'm going to see, just like in previous windows. So I'm going to click on restart here. And uh, just to let you know, as this is restarting, uh, another two ways you can uh, boot in safe mode is you have a, a recovery disk or a recovery uh, USB stick. Okay, so here we go. So here's um, here's some options. You can see the regular safe mode is number, you push number four. Uh, five is uh, safe mode networking, and six is uh, safe mode with command prop. I'm just going to push number four right now. We're just going to do a regular safe mode. 
I'm going to push 4 and just let you guys know, um, you know, in previous windows, you can push the, uh, constantly, you leave the computer and you would push uh, F8 consistently and it'll get you in a safe mode. What Windows 8 um, is, or 8.1, uh, it's not going to let you do that unless supposedly they say if you have an older computer and you upgrade it to Windows 8 or 8.1, that uh, there's a chance, a slight chance if you push F8, you may be able to, may be, to uh, be able to get in the, the safe mode options, but your computer has to be slow. But I tried several computers, slower computers, and it didn't work for me. Anyways, okay, so once you get here, you just have to log in, and then you'll know that you're in safe mode. Like I said previously, it's going to show safe mode, safe mode, safe mode, and safe mode. And that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or anything, comment on the bottom. Thanks. Bye.